hard disk drive is obviously what you store all your data on. But there are a few key factors that you need to look out for when purchasing one. The first one is physical size. This right here is a two and a half inch hard drive. You'll find these in laptops and they can go in desktops as well, but they are a lot slimmer and as a result they aren't as good as a three and a half inch hard drive just because there's less space and so they can't work as well as a three and a half inch hard drive. A three and a half inch hard drive isn't this, but it does go in this. This is a hard drive caddy, so it gives you an idea of the size. And this will just go on your computer, and these will outperform two and a half inch hard drives, but they are also prone to electrostatic discharge, or ESD. Choosing the right one, very simple. If you're after a desktop hard drive, go for a three and a half inch hard drive. But if you're buying for a laptop, then you just buy a two and a half inch hard drive. The second step is to decide how much storage you think you need. If you're just going to be using your computer for a few documents, maybe some pictures and some music, then obviously you're not going to need a great deal of room. Even a 500 or even a 250 gig hard drive is going to suit you absolutely fine. But if you're going to use your PCs for games or storing movies, then you're obviously going to need a higher capacity. The higher the capacity, the more expensive the drive is going to cost, but you need to work out how much storage you think you're going to need. I'd recommend the bare minimum for anyone these days is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. If you're going to be playing games or storing movies, I'd look at getting at least a one terabyte hard drive. It's worth looking at the price per capacity of your drive. If you're looking at getting a one terabyte hard drive, then do compare it to, say, a two terabyte hard drive. You might find that an extra £20 or $40 is actually going to cost you a lot less because you're going to be getting more storage for your money. So once you've chosen your capacity, the last thing you need to do is decide what you're going to be storing on it. And it depends on what you're going to be storing on it that what sort of speed and performance you need to be looking at. Because thirdly, you need to be looking at the performance of the drive. So what application are you going to be using your drive for? Now I'm not talking about computer applications, I'm talking about what you are actually going to be using this drive to do. For this guide I'm going to talk about Western Digital Drives. They're always the drives I buy, I don't have anything against other drives, but their key is the easiest to determine which drives will suit which purpose. At the lowest end of the Western Digital Drive range is the WD Green. This drive is all about being energy efficient and if you're not going to be doing anything serious it's absolutely the perfect drive. It's the quietest drive they do, it's the most energy efficient and you won't actually be able to hear it because it's by far the quietest drive they do. And it's also the cheapest drive they do. If you want a 2 terabyte drive you can get one for around about £80 whereas if you're looking at getting a higher end one that sort of price is not going to get you two terabytes of storage. But if your application is a little bit more serious, then maybe you should consider the WD Blue. WD Blue drives are middle of the road. They're fairly quiet, you're not really going to be able to hear them, but their performance is better than Western Digital Green drives. This means that if you're going to be doing any basic editing, so most people actually do some editing on their photographs, if you want to play back movies, then this is the sort of drive you want to be looking at. And even for gaming, Western Digital Blue will perform admirably. Then if you really want a serious drive, you need to be looking at getting a Western Digital Black. It sacrifices quiet operation and the amount of storage you get for your money. It's a fairly expensive drive. What we do get is a drive that can be twice as fast as the others. With read and write speeds around 150 megabytes a second, it way outperforms the blue drive, which will be around 80 megabytes per second, and then the green, which is around about 65 megabytes a second. But if you're going to be putting your operating system on a hard disk drive rather than a solid state drive, then definitely go for the Western Digital Black. If you're going to be doing any serious editing, if you're going to be editing in Photoshop RAW files, or if you're going to be editing 1080p movies, then you're going to benefit from having a Western Digital Black drive. There is one more application for hard disk drives, and that's for using two or more to create an array of drives. Now this can be for speed purposes. If you have two drives connected together, then you get twice the capacity and twice the storage. Now the way a hard drive works is it will write a one, followed by a zero, this is known as binary code, and if you have two drives, then the one can be written to one drive, and a zero to the other drive. This means that in theory you can get twice the performance by having two drives. Now this array is called RAID 0. Now the problem of course with having two drives is being that you're more prone to failure. You're twice as likely to have a failure. If one drive fails then your data is gone because it's been spread over two drives and you've only got half the data on the one that's still working and it is unrecoverable. It's because of this that you need special drives if you're going to have an array. Now there is one more purpose of having one or more drives and that is actually for backup. While having two drives in RAID 0 will mean you have 
twice the chance of stuff going wrong, you can actually do the opposite. You can set up a RAID array so that both drives have both data on it. It will appear as one drive in your computer and it will mean you have half the space. You will need two drives of the same capacity in order to get the capacity of one of those drives. So if you had two lots of one terabyte drives, you'd only have one terabyte of storage. But then this will mean that if one day your hard drive packs up, your data is still safe and you can just swap that out, put a new one in. If your broken one is still under a warranty, then you can send it back and RMA it and then you'll get a new one, put it back in and the array will rebuild itself and your data will stay safe. If you are going to be doing this, then obviously you need to have room for two or more hard drives, but you also need some special drives. Again, using Western Digital as an example, you need either the Western Digital black drives or you need Western Digital red drives. Now Western Digital Red drives can be used in your computer. As I said, if you are going to be building a RAID array, then you might consider getting a Red drives. But the real purpose of Western Digital Red drives are for a 24-7 always-on environment. And your computer probably isn't this, so it's designed for servers, or NAS, Network Attached Storage. So say you're living in a house with six people. You'll want to share the same data you want to be able to access each other's music, each other's pictures. What you could do, set up a home server, set up a network attached storage, and then you have two of these Western Digital Red drives in a RAID array. You can obviously encrypt it so only the people on the network with the password can use the data, but if one day one of the drives packs up, it will still be safe. And that pretty much wraps it up for our guide. So to summarize, you need a two and a half inch drive if you have a laptop, you want a three and a half inch drive if you're after a desktop drive, you need to know what you're using it for, you need to know how much capacity you think you'll need, and then you need to buy the appropriate drive. So that's a green or a blue for general use. But if you're after a more high performance drive for gaming or editing, then do consider the Western Digital Black, as although you do give up some of that extra space and it is more expensive, you're gonna benefit. You're gonna benefit by having a faster drive with say faster loading times with no hard drive lag. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.